Hey there lads and ladies, it is Petrifying Pumpkins here and today I am back to once again talk about our future GOAT, game of the year, greatest game of all time, the one that brings VR mainstream, Firewall Ultra. Now I already did a big 40 minute breakdown of everything they revealed, however it was a lot to go over and I did indeed miss out on some stuff that I think is worth pointing out. And of course, plenty of interest and discussion has developed over whether or not the Sense controllers can be a worthy successor to the AIM controllers, so I want to go back into that in a future video also. Before I begin, let me just say that this channel will be covering a ton of Firewall Ultra and PSVR 2 content, so if that's something that interests you, then hit that subscribe button for more. With that out of the way, let's begin. You're on your own. So the first thing I want to talk about is something I can't believe I missed in the trailer. I spoke about these dots that were part of the UI that I believed were indicating objectives on the map. My main reason being that the laptop had one of these yellow dots and when it was highlighted it said objective with a number one beneath that. There was other dots in that room that I thought might be showing other objectives behind walls and objects and whatnot. But then I got this comment from Zoner who believed that the dots may have indicated interaction points, as he pointed out that before the player interacts with the door, the very same dot appears on us briefly before disappearing. The other dots in that room are on a cage that stores gas canisters and some kind of cabinet or locker. Now Zoner suggests that perhaps we can interact with these things, that maybe we can open the cage and shoot the gas canisters for an explosive, or perhaps open the cabinet to cut the power, or in this case, as the power seems to already have been cut, perhaps we can restore the power and maybe open those big locked doors that we see either side of this room. I must say I find Zoner's ideas very intriguing, so big shout out to Zoner for those. I still think it's a bit odd that the same indicator is being used for the laptop as the other, perhaps less vital objects in the world, but it's early days, this could all be placeholder stuff, maybe all this stuff is not nailed down and things are subject to change. Now the next thing I wanted to bring up is something that I didn't actually miss the first time. I did bring it up, but I didn't put as much emphasis on it as I had intended to at the time, and that was due to just me being like completely overwhelmed with the excitement and there were so many things to talk about. Anyway, it has to do with Brazil, and no, not the Brazilian fans who are very, very enthusiastic about Firewall, but to do with the actual country and how it plays out in Firewall. So we know that maps are returning from Firewall Zero Hour, this was confirmed in the PS blog. We are fairly sure that the map we are shown in the trailer is Bunker, but we know that Bunker is supposed to be in Russia, not Brazil, as it's shown to be in the trailer. So what's going on? I have two theories. Now one of them is that the map we are seeing is not the bunker map that we know and perhaps for some kind of story reasons and for those of you who may say that Firewall doesn't have a story, there is some kind of, you know, like environmental storytelling if you're matching up like, you know, if you see logos and businesses and companies and there's little clues left around the place. If somebody put the effort to put all those things together, I think there is a, a little story they're weaving in the background there. So maybe there's some kind of story reason that this is like a sister bunker that was maybe developed alongside the Russian one, which is why maybe they look so similar. Now that could be a massive stretch, but my other theory is that with all the real world stuff going on with Ukraine and Russia right now, that it might not be the best look, you know, to be promoting how cool these Russian locations look in our video game. Hence changing bunker to being in Brazil. So if we just keep an eye out in the future for maybe Warehouse and Embassy, which are the other two Russian maps from the original, if they return, but they're no longer set in Russia, well then that will, you know, give us the answer. Now of course that's nothing to do with gameplay, it's not going to change, you know, it doesn't matter if the map is set in Russia or Brazil. Just a little thing I thought was worth pointing out. The next thing I wanted to talk about was this moment in the trailer where the player opens the door with one hand slowly while aiming his handgun, the TNK in this case, with the other hand. This is an obvious demonstration of what the two sense controllers can bring to the game and a point you should keep in mind when we get to the aim versus sense controller debate later on. Now the final thing that I think I missed wasn't really something that was actually in the trailer or the blog post, but the fact that it was absent from both makes me think it's something worth talking about. 
So one of the things you may have been expecting to see in Firewall Ultra, thanks to it having sense controllers, is manual reloading. However, nowhere in the blog or trailer do we see any mention of how reloading will be handled. That might not mean anything, but in the blog, they went as far as to tell us you can use eye tracking to interact with HUD elements. So surely when bringing up the sense controllers, one of the things you'd mention would be manual reloading, if you had it. Not only that, but there was no mention of throwables like grenades or flashbangs or placeables like C4. Will those be things that you're interacting with physically with the sense controllers or will those be button prompts? Now, it could just be that they didn't want to go too in-depth with the details in this blog post. It could also be that maybe they're just at a stage in development where they haven't even decided for sure how they're going to do it yet. I mean, we don't know when this game will release after all. It could be day one, it could be in another year, it could be two years for all we know, so maybe these things are still in the air. Or it could be that they don't mention these things because it'll be the same as it was on the aim controller with button presses. And that will lead us nicely into our debate on aim controller versus senses. So that's some food for thought there. Let me know what you think of all these points and if there's any other details worth mentioning that I missed. My next video on Firewall Ultra is going to be focusing on our beloved aim controller versus the new kid on the block, the sense controllers. Which is a bit of a spicy issue right now among the Firewall community, so stick around for that. Before I go, let me thank Decepticon for letting me use his music in all my videos, including this lovely Firewall theme remix. And that's it for me, lads and ladies. Until the next one, please stay nice and moist. Petrifying punk.